Idaho Falls Pediatrics, why do you supporting kids in our community and seven questions with Emmy? Hey guys, welcome back to seven questions with Emmy. Today I'm here at Fox in um, New York and I'm talking with Martha McCallum. Hi Emma, she how are you? Good. It's a pleasure to meet you. You too. She is a very amazing journalist. Mm, thank you. Um, should we get started with the questions? Yes, let's jump right in. Question number one, when did you know you wanted to become a journalist? You know what, I was always interested in politics when I was growing up and I used to watch a lot of news on TV and learn about politics and I love history and I also loved theater. So actually when I was growing up I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do but I knew the things that I loved and that I was interested in and then after I graduated from college uh, I got a job as a writer at a financial magazine and then it sort of started evolving but I just kept doing what I loved and was interested in. and it led me in this direction, which I'm really happy about. But I didn't grow up thinking, oh, that's what I want to do. So I always tell people, you should just stay very open, you know, about what you love doing and what you might want to do when you grow up and, and sort of see where life takes you. Question number two, what do you like most about your job? You know what I love most? I get to meet really interesting people. And not all of them are famous. Um, some of them are regular folks like you and me. And sometimes some of those, those are some of the most interesting conversations that I have. It's just meeting people across the country. And I really love doing that. So I love to meet people and learn about them. Yeah, that's probably my favorite part, mm -hmm. meeting new people. Yeah, it's great, right? Yeah. Question number three, how do you stay positive when you have so many like negative stories? Yeah. You know what, we do cover a lot of difficult stories and sometimes really sad stories and um, you do get kind of pulled into them because you really feel for the people who are going through these experiences and you know I, I have to just always find hope in the world and I also see so many so much reason for hope and I meet so many bright young people like you and life is a kind of a roller coaster there are ups and downs and good things and bad things but I think that you if you stay hopeful and faithful you will find ways to balance the good and the bad in life because every life has some of each you know yeah um how I'm oh, sorry um can you tell me about your most embarrassing moment on air Oh gosh, I you know I know there's been there have probably been many of them. <laughs> um, one was when I I covered this tweet that was actually kind of a joke. It was a quote from a Monty Python movie, and I know you're too young to probably know what Monty Python is, but I took it I took it as a real tweet, and then later realized that it wasn't. It was kind of a joke, and. I was really embarrassed that I didn't recognize what it was because it was this quote from a movie that I actually love and think is funny, but I was really embarrassed about that. <laughs> like you said it on air? I said it on air and then people said, oh my gosh, how does she not know that that's a funny joke Monty Python quote that everybody knows and I was like embarrassed, I felt so silly, but you know what? Life goes on, right? Yeah. Um, we are here in New York City. What do you like best about living here? And um, what's your favorite food to eat that you can only get in New York City? Ooh. Well, I, I love New York City. I grew up in New Jersey and lived just outside of New York, but in this metropolitan area, we call it, all part of New York City and the, and the outlying area. I think New York City is one of the most exciting, beautiful cities in the world. And I love Grow, I love growing up in this area and I love going to the theater and I love going to shows and going out for dinner and enjoying the city which we've been doing a lot of lately during the Christmas season which is so much fun. Um, my favorite thing to eat, you know, I'm big on pizza. Pizza is really my very favorite food and I think the pizza in New York is the best anywhere. Have you ever been to Idaho and tried our famous potatoes? You know what? I've been to almost every state in the nation, and I'm a little embarrassed to say that I have not been to Idaho, but I would like to go, and I've definitely eaten plenty of Idaho potatoes. They're delicious, but I would like to eat one in Idaho. Yeah. So I've got to put that on my travel you list. You have an invitation an Thank invitation you. to come Thank to Idaho, you. and you can, you can stay at our house, and we can have Idaho potatoes that together. That would be fabulous. I would love to do that. Yeah. Thank you very much, Emma. Um, what, who is your dream, well, my dream interview is Zac Efron. Who is your dream interview? Oh, who would be my favorite interview? You know what, I would have loved to have interviewed Queen Elizabeth. And she just passed away, and uh, we got to go there and cover her funeral. 
but she never did an interview in her whole life, really. She did sort of a documentary at one point, but never a real interview. And so because she, because I admired her and because she refused to do an interview, that made it really enticing. That would be the person that I would want to interview more than anyone. Yeah. Who um, is the most famous person that you have in your phone? Well, I've interviewed a couple of presidents, you know, Barack Obama and uh, President Trump, and I got to interview Laura Bush. And so those are probably the most famous people that I've interviewed, American presidents and people who are running for the American presidency. But like I said, sometimes it's just the fun people that you meet along the way when you're doing campaigns and, you know, people are wearing funny hats at Republican and Democrat conventions. And you sort of get um, a peek into all of these different states around the country that is really probably the most fun. So you have like the president's numbers then? Well, I have some of the president's people's numbers, you know. Um, and we get in touch with them and then we try to arrange the interview, but it's always a, you know, you got to step up to the plate when you do those presidential interviews because they're pretty good at it. Yeah, that's pretty <laughs> cool. Oh, maybe I need to have a president. You should have an interview with the president. You should call President Biden. Yep, that'd See be cool. See if you can go over there and, and interview him. Mm -hmm. Okay, do you have advice to help me when I do my interviews? So my best piece of advice that I learned early on, and I still remind myself of it because it's the most important advice, is to listen. So we always think about the questions that we're going to ask, but after you ask the question, you have to really listen to the answer because then you realize that your next question maybe should be something different because maybe they said something that makes you realize that you're kind of getting something out of, the, out of them and you need to go a little bit further into that. So sometimes if you're, you're not a good listener, you can miss something really something really great. Thank you so much You're for talking You're so welcome, with me. Emmy. It's so nice to meet you. Thank you so much for coming to Fox. And I have a little Christmas present Aren't for you. so you. sweet? Thank you so much. It's not ice cream. I know you just went to the ice uh -huh. cream. It might be melting in the bag. <gasps> it's an Idaho Oh my gosh, it's an Idaho buddy. potato. I love my Idaho mm. potato. You know who would really like this Idaho potato, but he's not going to get it from me. Who? My dog. Because if he gets a hold of this, he's going to rip it. <laughs> Night, <laughs> and I want to keep it. my Mr. Idaho potato in one piece. So no, no Idaho potato for Scout. Yeah. I'm going to keep it. And then okay. there's more Did stuff. Did I miss something? There's a seven questions pen. Oh, thank you. Seven questions with Emmy. Let's see. Oh, it works really well. Thank you, Emmy. And then it's a keychain that says your name and it oh lights gosh. up. <laughs> Because cool is that? all the people I interview on Zoom, there's a light box that says their name in the background. Yeah. And so now you have your own one. That's oh, pers Thank you so much. That is really, that is so cool. It's my name on the keychain. It lights up. Thank you so much. Thank you, Emmy. What a pleasure to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you, too. I think you're going to have a very good career in this <laughs> business. You know that? Thank you. I'll look forward to seeing what you do. What grade are you in? I'm in fourth grade. Fourth grade. Awesome. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Really congratulations on all you've done already and a bright future ahead. Thank you. Nice to meet you, Emmy. You too. Bye. Bye. Thanks so much for watching. Remember, new set of questions and interviews are posted every Thursday. Be sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Love you guys. Bye. Idaho Falls Pediatrics, where you supporting kids in our community and seven questions with Emmy.